It's a little chilly here in Orlando, Florida, but the sounds that are gonna come out of this car are hot. This is our Alpha One amplifier specifically for your E82. It is a 100% plug and play amp, custom tuned for you, the way you like to listen to your music, what kind of music you like to listen to, and specifically for your E82. And this will be a step-by-step -step guide on how to install this amp in your E82 featuring Jarrett's Panzerwagen. The factory amp is located under this panel. To get to it, the first thing we need to do is pull up on the floor panel and remove it. Now we need to remove the trim panel. Using a Beamer Tech trim tool, remove the two fasteners on either side holding it down. Next, use a Phillips screwdriver or bit to remove the two screws holding the panel down. You don't need to remove the weather stripping to remove the panel, but as Jarrett will learn later, you'll need it out for reinstallation. If only he listened. <sighs> Now the main side panel. Use a Beamer Tech trim tool to remove the three fasteners along the edge of the panel. Once they are removed, grab the panel, begin to wiggle it free, and remove it. To get to the amp, lift this plastic panel up from the front and remove it. From this point, you can disconnect the factory harness from the factory amp now or later. Jarrett pick now, so with your finger or a trim tool, press down the middle locking tab on the connector, then rotate the arm down to disconnect the cable. Now using a ratchet, remove the three 8mm bolts holding the amp bracket down here, here, and here. Once everything is free, remove the unit from the car. Now we need to remove the factory amp from the factory bracket so we could use it on the Alpha 1 amp. Using a 10mm socket, remove the two nuts here. Once free, set the amp aside and sell it on eBay. You might have one more screw, but it was missing on Jarrett's car, like many other screws. Place the bracket on the Alpha 1 amp like so, and with the supplied bolt, washer, and nut, secure the two together by using the hole here. It's now a good time to make sure everything is plugged in, the white connectors and the USB cable. Take the assembled unit over to your car and place it in the same way it was before. Next, replace the three bolts that you removed. Now we need to connect the harness. Simply push the factory one into the Beamer Tech plug and play harness and rotate the arm down to lock it into place. Tuck the harness down and you can use a cable tie to help secure it. Take the plastic cover and angle it back down into place. Replace the side panel. Make sure it's securely in place. Don't forget to feed the USB cable through this access panel at this point. You will need this if you ever want to digitally access your amp at a later date. Continue to replace the panel and pop the three fasteners back in. This is where you can attempt to put the rear panel back in without removing the weather stripping. Then, realize you can't, so you remove the weather stripping, Jarrett, and snap it back into place. Oh, and now he takes it off. Push the stripping back down, the two fasteners, and the two screws. Don't forget to tidy up the USB cable. Finally, put the floor panel back in and you're done.
And that is how you install the Alpha One Amp by Beamer Tech in your E82. If you want this amp for your vehicle, head on over to our website and to your VIN so you could find the right amp for your car, fill out all the information to make it custom tuned just for you and your vehicle. And hey, check out the Alpha One speakers while you're there as well for the full audio experience. For more tips and tricks, installation videos, product reviews, and so much more, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell for future updates. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.